what I'm going to try and do is, first of all, speak to you slowly so you can understand what I'm saying. But within five minutes. And within five minutes, but at the same time explain why the title, the on-job coaching, uh, a social coaching service, the Serpa. The Serpa is uh, a service that we're in the midst of uh, putting together in France, in Limoges. And why do I say beyond job coaching? Because we've had a job coaching uh, service in Limoges since 2004. However, we found that the people that were incorporated into the job coaching service, they did fine while they were on the job because there was a job coach. The problem is that as soon as they left their job, that's when the problems began because there was no more job coach because the job coach was only there during the period of work. But after work, there was no one there, or there were parents, or the person who uh, had his own car, went downtown, went into a bar, got in a fight, and then what happens? The police come, who takes care of the police, who explains to the police all these things, and that's where we're saying, well, maybe what this person needs is maybe not a social coach, but a social advisor. In other words, what do you do in a situation like that? And particularly, who is going to be around to be a safe person to help this person get out of the situation in which they find themselves? Um, so this is where our idea for a social coaching service came from. And the objective is really to provide tailor-made assistance for the social, educational, and therapeutic needs of people with autism of all ages and functioning levels throughout their lives in the Limousin region of France. Why throughout their lives? Because we've talked about adolescents, we've talked about children, and so on, but then afterwards they're going to be an adult for the next 50 years. And so what is going to happen them, to them after the next 50 years? The trouble is that in spite of the fact that people learn a whole lot of things, learn skills, learn things like that, they need somebody there to watch out for them, to be sort of a guardian angel that can't be their parents. Okay, the problem is that how is this person going to accept the fact of having a guardian angel? This person, our model, involves using a certain thing that exists in France, which is called the prestation de compensation de handicap, which is money given by the state to the person to use to his best judgment for paying someone to help him with his handicap. And so what happens is the state gives a certain sum of money directly to the person, and at the end of the month, if the person has the cap capacities of doing so, he writes a check to the, his social coach, and so it's his employee. Okay, And so what happens is this is not a, an, something to inhibit my action. This is somebody there that I employ, and so they help me out. So what we want to do is true, really find optimal social integration. That's what we're looking for. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to provide ongoing support to encourage generalization of learned skills in other settings. Because you can learn stuff, sure, but the trouble is that applying it in daily life, and if it goes wrong, who is there to help you figure out what went wrong? <laughs> and who is there as your personal social helper. Right. So what we're trying to do is really sort of pick up the pieces or the lack of education that happened in the first place to increase this person's capacities, whatever the level is, and to really use a means that is personally adapted to each level of the person. So you can have a person who is very low functioning, and uh, the social coach in that case will sort of not replace the parents, but they're to help the parents out sometimes because the parents sometimes can't deal with it all the time. And particularly as their child grows older, he doesn't want to deal with his parents anymore. <laughs> okay. So what we're looking for is what type of professional are we looking for? We're looking for professionals who are interested in it, but the trouble with France is we don't have many professionals that are very skilled in this type of in this type of operation. So we're looking for quality control, but also we're looking particularly to have professionals from different areas, from Italy, from uh, the United Kingdom, and so on, who can come in and train our 
people and, and, and be there to supervise them to make sure that everything goes positively. We already have a small model that's been working for the past two years with a young man. And uh, this model seems to be helping this person and particularly gives his parents a break for two reasons, because the parents of course, still worry about their son who's 29 years old, but at the same time, the son doesn't want to listen to his parents anymore if he gets in a problem or difficulties or whatever. However, he's perfectly willing to discuss with his social coach, who is a safe person for him, and find out what went wrong. And if anything does go wrong, his social coach can call up the people who we had a problem with, say, I am such and such a person's social coach. I am here to try and find out what happened, what can we do to, ri to try and make the situation right, and uh, is there something that uh, needs to be done? And people on the telephone who talk to a professional are much more willing to say things that went wrong than if they talk to the person's parents. Okay? So the services that we're planning on providing, and we're waiting for funding, which is very intimate, um, very, very soon will be coming, um, based on evaluations, particularly in France, access to health care. <laughs> because as in all of Europe, uh, access to health care for people with autism isn't that easy. Because that means the person can be uh, examined, and many times you take a person to the hospital with autism and, oh, no, no, we don't want to take this person, he has too many problems. And so that's what we want to do. It's particularly open 365 days a year because you don't stop being a person with autism half of the year. Okay. And so there's always this problem that's there. And it's specific help for higher functioning people with autism, for really helping them better understand what's going on in the social world um, with intensive early intervention for younger children. What we're trying to do is develop a model of um, an ongoing help, social help for this person, an ongoing um, uh, intervention tailor-made for each individual. This is our program, this is our project, this is, we're waiting for funding right now, we have a small uh, model going on right now, and we will see what happens in the near future. Thank you. Wonderful, thank you so much.